How's it going internet? It's Solaris100 um, with yet another video. If you follow my Instagram, you know I've been traveling lately quite a lot. Whenever I come to a new city, I check out the street art and I go a bit of record digging. And of course, I'm gonna hit up all the hype stores. When I went to London, it was a no-brainer. Of course, I had to check out Supreme. I know Supreme gets a lot of hate because of all these young kids queuing in front of the store for like hours and hours and days and days. Fair enough, but I feel that Supreme is still releasing some really cool items. The price point is still good if you can buy it for retail. This time I was even lucky to get some items online. Uh, as you know, they're releasing new bits and pieces every Thursday, which I personally think is super entertaining, but most of it is very quickly sold out. Anyway, I was lucky to get a couple of pieces and uh, when I went to London, I hit up the store as well. So let's have a look what's in the bag. And a big supreme bag that is for sure. Yeah, that is basically the first pickup I got in store. This bag is sold out already online, but I was very lucky that they still had a couple of bags in store. I'm a massive bag fan. I think Supreme does great bags. I really like these super bright white colorway. It has reflective Supreme on top, of course, the box logo as well. And it's really nice, sturdy, watertight laminated nylon. I think the price point, like I said, is always pretty good. So this bag was around like I think 100, 130 uh, pounds and I already traveled with it a lot. You can pack a lot of stuff in there. It's a very trusty bag if you're going out for a city break. So let's have a look at the goodies inside. First up, this is the stuff I got online. And uh, yeah, when you're ordering online, they're really nice and adding the really heavy duty Supreme bag as well as a bit of an extra gift. First of all, I got this uh, hard cap. Um, this is still available on the website, so not too hype. But again, you know, Supreme is not just about hype items. I think they're doing a lot of really cool solid graphics, which uh, look good with any outfit. Although I'm a massive snapback fan, this time I went for a fitted hat. It has this really cool embroidery on the back as well, 2017. I always love it when you can see in what year an item was released and when you got it. So yeah, all over, I think it's a great cap. Good look, uh, not too hype, and still gives you a little bit Supreme bang for your buck. Normally, I'm not a massive t-shirt fan when it comes to Supreme, of course, apart from the box logos and some of the photo tees, but generally speaking, I don't rate the Supreme prints that high, but this time they had some really nice pieces there and I was very lucky to acquire them. Oh. I went basically for this Venus Supreme print. It says Supreme on it, but I think in a way which doesn't scream Supreme. The next shirt I got is even a bit more premium than the last one. Let's have a look. It's actually uh, much thicker quality. As you can see, the Supreme logo is different as well. It's quite heavy and it has Supreme actually embroidered onto the shirt. It's not a print. It's a really cool, cool shirt for autumn. Moving on. Now to the items which I got actually in store. The first one was this great bag and the second one was this really cool reflective beanie. And that's another thing I think Supreme does very well. They always add a spin on things and what they did with this beanie is that they put like reflective 3M material into the weave. And I really like that it has that 3M feature but it's still very subtle and you only really see it if you take a picture uh, with your camera or uh, yeah, if somebody tries to run you over uh, with the lights on. Moving forward, while we are on the orange tip, they actually collaborated with Nike on an Air Force 2. As we know, the Air Force 2 is nowhere near as popular as the Air Force 1, so it's a bit of a slap on model. I'm loving the spin Supreme put on the shoe. Ta-da! There you go. I went for the orange colorway to fit very well with the knitted beanie I got as well. And I think these are just straight fire. Of course, they have their word famous in the back. As you can see, it says Supreme here on that white plastic strap there. And they added a little bit, a little dash of uh, patent leather in there, which I, I don't know if you could see that. Unfortunately, I don't have the box anymore with me. I had to throw that away because my luggage was already way too stuffed as it was, but it was just a teal Nike SB box, nothing special there. The toe box is already a little bit creased. That's because I ran around in them in London. I had to rock them straight away. That might be an issue with that shoe because it's quite bulky, it's a bit puffy. 
the toolbox might crease and go a little bit out of shape. I don't mind it that much because if you're wearing it, uh, it's, it's not that visible. Like with any Supreme collabo, you have the red inner sole with the, the Supreme branding. And if you want to get even more tonal with them, they come with an extra pair of orange laces as well. So yeah, what can I say? I love those shoes, Supreme did it again. I'm really happy to add them to my collection. Whoa! But of course you can't really leave Supreme without getting one of the silly gimmicks. I went for the blimp. A lot of people talked about like why they would release a blimp. Uh, some said it's because they had like this Scarface jacket in the collection and there's like the scene with a blimp on the sky saying the word is yours. Another one talked about the Nas collabo tee, that that was like an analogy to a lyric to Scarface that Nas said. On further research, I found out that Tommy Hilfiger used to have promotional blimps with their logo on it. So very likely, as Supreme is really into their 90s streetwear inspiration, it's very likely that they got the idea from that blimp. Ah, you want me to inflate it, don't you? You want me to inflate it? Ta-da! Whoo! Eh. As you can see, it has like these little two hook thingies um, glued to the plastic. I assume with a little wire and this little band uh, that fell out of the package earlier, uh, this can be uh, easily attached to uh, yeah, uh, any high beast home. Uh, surface. No fly away, Supreme Blimp. So on YouTube, these were my pickups from the last Supreme drop. Let me know if you got anything from the last couple of drops. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I'm always posting my travels on Instagram as well. I wrote a blog post about London actually. So if you're traveling to London and you want to get a bit of tourist advice, what to do, how to move around, which shops to hit, Check out my blog post. I'll leave a link to the blog post in the description below. So please like this video if you enjoyed my pickups. Subscribe to the channel so you get more videos from me. Check out my Instagram, get in touch via Twitter, and uh, I see you hypebeasts later. Bye.